right, welcome back. We're going to be doing the Adaptation Ale from Rough Tail Brewing Company. Love these cans. You got the stickers. You can take the stickers off and put them on whatever you want. Pretty sweet looking can. Uh, today is July 18th, and this was canned on uh, July 7th, of course, of the same year. There you go. This is a black IPA. Let me read you a little bit about the uh, adaptation. Gecko feet are so finely adapted that they form a van der, van der Waals force electromagnetic attraction with whatever the gecko is clinging to. This allows them to walk up trees, walls, and even, and even upside down on ceilings. Adaptation ale is our constantly evolving IPA tribute to nature's adapt, adapt, adaptability. There we go. Brewed four times a year in small batches only. Every experience will be unique. So that's why I'm getting this review out in front of other reviews. I picked this up yesterday. Uh, if you are in the Oklahoma area, preferably OKC, and uh, you can find this. Uh, they only made 80 cases. Uh, I had one, and another guy had one uh, from Byron's Liquor Warehouse, and I think there was only one more case left that they had. So better get your ass out there and get one. There you go. Like I said, this is a black IPA. I've already, I've already had one in the trusty Rough Hill Brewing Company glass. Working, uh, worked overtime last night and working it again. Got to get some sights on the Glock 19 and the Glock 34. We're going to run some uh, uh, excess big dots. A lot of malt. It's, it kind of overpowers the, uh, the pininess a little bit. I'm not getting any citrus. It smells nice and roasty. Uh, Looks like dark Dr. Pepper. That's brown and ruby tints to it. I mean, I can't see anything through it really. The head is nice and uh, nice and creamy. Tightly packed bubbles. All right, let's get into it. I'm not sure what the uh, the percentage is. I don't know if it changes, you know, batch per batch. Um, I didn't even look what it was on rate beer. So, but after having that one yesterday, and you know, somewhat feeling it, I'm, I'm guessing it's it's in the low sixes, like very low sixes. Right up front, you like a a bitter. It's like rares back, and then it just kind of just. Eh. I mean, you feel like it's going to get really bitter, but it doesn't. Then it follows up with the pine. And then that bitter kind of just washes back over again, and it, it does stay with you for a little while. I I probably sit in my chair. I was editing another review. Uh, I think I counted pretty close to five, six, seven minutes or so, and it was, it was still with me. It's not overwhelming or dry. Kind of like um, like I described it, you get kind of a kind of a zing and, and uh, um, hair sweetness like Coca Cola, and then it's uh, it's like walnut skin, kind of uh, dry, dusty, kind of bitter. It's got a good charge of carbonation to it. Take a big gulp, you can somewhat taste the alcohol. Uh, this is fresh out of the fridge. And I got a fan going on in here, and it's damn near 90 degrees outside. Whew. Yep, this pine, light to medium bitterness. 
and the bitter kind of kicks back in again. Then you get the, yeah, look at that head. I like that head. It's really creamy. Then a uh, walnut skin, about all I can say. Got a gift in the mail today. That's how to make people like Heffy, people on Canadians, or people that are in restricted states kind of excited. It's uh, the cheaper uh, line of out the fronts, but hey, they work. It's the Lightning OTF, double action. Got my wife one. Hers is red, mine's the green, the kind of olive and, and uh, light tan camo. They say camo, but it's green and they just a couple of lines of brown over it. Uh, three and a half inch blade, I do believe. It's the same size as my uh, Spyderco uh, Paramilitary 2. Um, I will say they do a pretty shitty job on an edge on it. Really wavy looking. I'm gonna have to hit this with the uh, 800 grit and maybe with a 1500. Yeah, it's it even looks like it has a nick in it right there, but it, I didn't feel it when I ran my fingernail across it. And I wish I had a freaking paracord hole, like putting paracord on mine. It's not too bulky of a handle. It's really light being aluminum. Kind of springy sounding. Sucks it in just fine. You feel it vibrating a little bit. Uh, it seems actually worse quality than my Microtech clone I got from China. That was a little cheaper, but the blade was a lot shorter. Did you hear it? See? Kind of springy. But. This would be a good EDC. I'm not looking to, you know, have to stab a wall or something. I'm sure it would work pretty well in self-defense, but I carry a, I carry a, one of these for that. Uh, yeah, I do like this. It's a good thing it's going to be a, a surprise four times a year. And really, I mean, for a, a, a four pack of something exciting as this, it was only like $13. It's really not that bad. Uh, 16 ounce cans, so. By the way, if you're watching this, put a link below. Uh, Strat got his channel back going again. Uh, He's going to be slowly uploading some videos. He had some technical difficulties. If you go check out his channel, he'll tell you exactly what happened. It's not my place to tell someone else's story, so go check him out. He does very interesting uh, homebrew videos. Uh, starting to get into reviewing. Make those reviews a little longer. I mean, four or five minutes is good, but come up with a story, you know. Hell, you know, last Wednesday I saw this, or, you know, it may be kind of interesting. It's pretty, pretty fun. So, what time is it? I gotta get back up at 9 tonight. It's 3 o'clock, and I gotta get this edited, rendered, and then go to bed, and I'll uh, upload it when I get up. And then tomorrow, I get my wife a new phone. She's had the Note 2 for fucking almost two years. Get her uh, either the Note 4 or the S6, or maybe something equivalent. Not no iOS phone, though. We all like Android around here. So, uh, money's just going out the door, left and right. Had to get a new stove last month. That was $600. Really nice glass top. Ordered these knives. They were 85 bucks for both of them. Uh, I got something else coming in the mail. Oh, I got some new earbuds, Skull Candies. I'll be making a video about Skull Candy. Nothing but issues with them. Uh, overpriced garbage. But I, I'm kind of stuck, so I'll describe that in another video when I get those new headphones in. So I'm going to sip on this, and it's already dripping. A lot of condensation. I'm going to sip on this and get this video rendered, and 
I'll get it up tonight. We'll be seeing you.